Hey everyone, it's PJD here. Long time no see. Um, I didn't have the best day today, so I did a little retail therapy. Um, porridge soap from Lush. You've seen this before, but I got a $32 slice. Pretty big, right? Um, though, of course, if you go with other stores like maybe Chagrin Valley, you would get much more. They don't have the porridge soap, though. Um, I got this for free, Dream Cream, the full size. Hey, he makes actually a lot of the products I end up picking up. Anyhow, um, Dream Cream. I can already tell you, I looked at the ingredients list and it has two parabens at the very end. I haven't really used this yet, um, so I'll, I'm just kind of, this is kind of a haul, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, this is normally 22 bucks, but I'll do that in the separate review that I do for it. This is their new soap called Chalks Away, and it's dark chocolate and white chocolate, of course, with other ingredients. Haven't used it yet. I'll tell you how it works. This is like a $22 slice. Got a little bit of the figs and leaves. This was like a, let me see how much, sorry, um, $13 piece. I got this Karma Soap for free. It stinks. Um, it's lemongrass, patchouli, and um, orange flavor. I don't like it. Uh, yeah, it just came too close to me just now. It made me feel not good. Um, I got a $19 piece of sandstone. It smells very lemony. I've reviewed this one in the past, as well as the figs and leaves. But here's the new stuff that I got. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is the BB Seaweed Facial Mask. You will not find this on the website because it's one of those that they have to keep in the refrigerators at Lush. So this is one of their new masks. Um, actually, I'm not certain if this one is new, but it's one of the refrigerated ones that you won't find on the website. Uh, because they won't be shipping it out to you and it has a very short shelf life. The other one is Catastrophe Cosmetic. And this one looks a little watery on the side if you can see see that but this part is thick um, I'm gonna try this one tonight she said that one should give me a glow and I love a good glow um, what else did I do? oh I got this massage bar sorry I've forgotten the name of it oh um, a peach each peach is what it's called but it actually smells like a lemon so what's up with that I'm not really sure but it's cute um, it's like a cocoa butter stick, <laughs> pretty much. And I know I had gotten one of these before, and in another video I said, oh, no need to get that again because it's just a cocoa butter stick. And it is, but this one smelled a little better, and it, I like the way it applied, so I got it. This, I'll probably insert my review of this because I had done a review of this before, but I got another one of these just for my buddy. This is a heart-shaped massage bar. It's often referred to as the Honeymooner bar. As you can see, some chocolate right there. So it has chocolate in it. And you just kind of massage it on. And this is probably their best, uh, their massage bar with the best scent in my book. Um, and so I'll probably insert the review for this here and then move on to the next product that I want to review. So this was just kind of my haul. All right. This what is what happens when PJD doesn't have the best day. All right, now for the review. Hey everyone, I just want to talk to you quickly about the Quick Curls Miss Jessie's product. This is supposed to give naturals defined lovely curls very quickly. Um, as you know, I am not a natural, so I, I bought this for my sister. And I can only say that I am thankful that I got the uh, two ounce bottle which really it almost felt as if less than two ounces was in here but hmm, I could be wrong anywho um, this two ounce one only cost nine dollars and then the additional shipping costs I'll first tell you about some of the ingredients and I can tell you it does have some nice things in here actually the bulk of of the product consists of um, different extracts like floral extracts, grape seed extracts, um, alfalfa is in here. It, it has some nice and great sunflower extracts. So it has some good things in here, but of course it wouldn't be Miss Jessie's if it didn't have dyes in here. So you have your yellow number 10, your green number five, you know, <laughs> all those dyes in there it has some other not so good ingredients as well. Anyway, like many of the curling products, you're supposed to have damp hair. Put this on. 
put this creamy formula on. I'll show you the consistency of it. Um, you're supposed to emerge once it dries with, if I could open this, with um, nice, well-defined curls. Can you see that it's like a cream? Okay. So while I did see my sister's hair while it was damp and she had this product on and it looked nice while, while it was still wet. Um, you could see the curl definition. She did have a lot of shrinkage, but okay, that's fine. She's, before I forget to tell you, a 4A, 4B um, hair type. So she did have shrinkage, but as long as it dried and it wasn't crunchy, you know, who, who really cared? Well, I should say she didn't care. She would have been happy with the shrinkage, but well-defined curls and not crunchy. Now, this product promises to give you... Um, quick, no fuss, frizz free, like weightless curls. It says weightless on the website. Okay. They came out crunchy, hard, extra shrinkage. <laughs> it's like it, it had a, it was like a shrinky dink product. If those of you who remember shrinky dinks from back in the day, you would put this little plastic thing in the oven and it would go, you would watch it through the oven door. Yeah, so Shrinky Dinks. Um, this is the hair product version of a Shrinky Dink. I will put this in the Skip It files on behalf of my sister because I wouldn't get this again for her. I did also buy for her the Darcy's Botanicals Curling Jelly, uh, which she needs to use, as well as um, a long time ago, you may remember in a post, I got the Miss Jessie's Curly Pudding for her. But we need to go through that. I, I'm going to apply that to her hair. We'll see what that does. I also want to try this. Um, so those I own. But I also want, or she owns. Um, I also want to get for her the Kinky Curly Custard. Because I've heard good things about that. As far as this one goes, I can tell you it smells just delightful. It smells like um, like a, a lemon cake or something like that. So that's nice. And hey, I only lost out on nine bucks. And see, you can see it's like a creamy, I mean, the product itself doesn't feel sticky. It feels lightweight, but it just didn't mesh well with her hair. Maybe you will use this and get those weightless, lovely, quick curls. It didn't happen for her. She had what seemed like extra shrinkage and her hair was hard. So that's not good. <laughs> So she doesn't like the product and never wants to see it again. She even texts me when she was at work <laughs> because she wasn't happy with this. Um, so anyway, uh, if you've used this and it worked for you, please let me know. Um, I just wish also that Miss Jessie would get rid of the dyes and some of those other bad ingredients and just stick with. But who knows if the product will work the same. Yes, it would. Okay, you don't need a dye for a product to work well. Um, and some of the other things that she has in here. But yeah, if she could just keep with the natural ingredients, I think she would have an even better product on her hand, dare I say. But that's just my two cents. If you've tried this or you have a really good curling uh, cream that you or product that you would like to suggest, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.